Okay, Spanish River Kids, can you say, thank God for mothers. Thank God for mothers. What about on the other table? You say, thank God for mothers. Thank God for mothers. Do you mean that? Yes. Why? Because he loves them. Okay. Yes. That's right, because mothers gave birth to us. Okay, good job. Why are you talking to me? You're a Jew and I'm a Samaritan. Jesus said, I asked you for a drink. You don't know who I am. If you did, you would have asked me for a drink. And I would give you living water. The woman was confused. She said, Sir, this well is deep and you don't have a bucket. Where do you get this living water? Jesus said, Anyone who drinks this well water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks from the water I give will never be thirsty again. In fact, the water I give will become a well inside you, and you will have eternal life. Jesus was talking about the Holy Spirit, but the woman did not understand. Sir, she said, give me this water. If I'm not thirsty, I will have to keep coming to this well to get water. Go get your husband, Jesus said. But I don't have a husband. The woman replied. Jesus knew she was telling the truth. He said, you don't have a husband now, but you've had five husbands. <gasps> Jesus was right. I see you are a prophet, the woman said. Maybe this prophet could explain something to her. She said, the Samaritans worship here on a mountain, but the Jews say we need to worship at the temple in Jerusalem. Jesus said, Soon you will not need to be in either of those places to worship God in spirit and in truth. The woman said, I know the Messiah is coming. When he comes, he will explain everything to us. Then Jesus said, I am the Messiah. The woman left and told the people in her town, Come, see a man who told me everything I ever did. Could this be the Messiah? Many Samaritans believed in Jesus because of what the woman said. Jesus stayed in their town for two days. Many more believed because of what Jesus said. They told the woman, we no longer believe because of what you say, but we have heard for ourselves and know that this is really the savior of the world. Jesus offers something better than physical water. He gives us himself. Jesus gives the Holy Spirit to everyone who comes to him by faith. We can worship him as Lord and Savior wherever we are.
prayer team come and join me here at the front. If there are matters you want to bring to Christ who loves you so much that he died for you, and you want to lay your burdens down at his feet, then I want to invite you before you go to come and pray. If you want to know more about what it means to follow Jesus, to become a follower of Jesus, I'd like to talk to somebody, think about that more deeply. Well, we're here to talk with you and pray with you. So whether you have burdens about what you want to pray, or you've been far from the Lord and you want to come home, Maybe you've never met Christ and you want to know what it means to follow him, whether you're eight or eight. We invite you to stay behind, talk, pray. We want to be here for you for that. But for the rest of us, let's receive this benediction, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you now and always. Amen. 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 Go and tell, come and pray. Amen. Amen.